Hi, how you doing? Um, it's been a while, a little bit, I guess, since I've talked to y'all face to face. Um, not to mention, I got like a thousand more of you for some reason. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. You guys clearly like me dancing, so you know that that was good enough for you guys to subscribe. So I, I appreciate it, but I don't understand you though. But not for real though. I really appreciate the new subscribers that I got. Like, I don't understand how me dancing to a Kendrick Lamar video can attract so many people to my channel, but at the end of the day, I don't really understand the damn internet like I used to anymore. I thought I did, but I don't. I think it's because it reminds y'all so much of like the early 2000s and like 2010s YouTube that it's kind of like, oh, okay, y'all can vibe with this. So maybe that's the reason, but I don't know how I blew up. Like, I wish I knew, but I don't. But it means a lot, but we're not really here to talk about that. I mean, we are, but like, we're not really. So today, I kind of want to do a QA. and I, I, I told you guys on my YouTube to ask me questions on the community tab. So we're gonna read some questions that y'all lovely people decided to ask me. I didn't get a lot, but it was worth something because, you know, a lot of y'all don't know who I am. So I figured, you know, it will be a way to get to, you know, interact with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what YouTubers do. We, we interact with each other, so. All right, so the first question comes from quantum underscore blunts. And you asked like five questions, so I'm just gonna like, you know, you, you asked five questions, so you're just gonna be in those five questions. All right, number, the, the first question you asked is, how does it feel getting the notifications for your viral video? Your CD collection video is number two. So that was your most viral before. Did it feel different between the two videos? Not really. Um, actually, yes, it did. Okay, so the vinyl video, that actually accumulated a thousands of views like over the years because I put that out like back in 2020 and it didn't have a thousand views then. It kind of started as like the years went on as I started getting more subscribers and people love a good vinyl video. So I figured, you know, through you know, people liking music, I think the views were gonna grow either way. So that kind of took kind of years to kind of get to those type of, you know, views. And honestly, for YouTube standards, I don't think a thousand is really that much. I mean, it's a lot, but compared to like people who begin like a millions of, in hundred thousands of views, I don't think thousands is really all that much. But this one is like, I got to thousands upon thousands and even 10,000s of like within weeks. and. I'm not so used to a lot of people commenting on my videos. Actually, it's a lot of activity on my channel, so it's a little weird, but I, I don't mind it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, I, I felt different. I'm, 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 I'm kind of cool with it. Question number two, how long have you been making music for? And when did you realize that it was something you were passionate enough to pursue? So I've been making music since I was 16. I'm 24 now, so I've been making music for about eight years, but I really started taking it seriously back in like 2019, so around 19. Um, I took it seriously like around when I was making my album, Black Rose. Uh, I kind of realized, I was like, man, I kind of go through a lot in life and I wanted to really like put that into music. Like Kendrick Lamar, Tyler the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt, a lot of artists, I can go down a laundry list, inspire me to actually put like my vulnerability in my life into my music. So you can thank those guys, honestly, but it was really Kendrick. Uh, that kind of really inspired me to really get to the music like nerd and like kind of like the artist that I am today because if it wasn't for his music I really wouldn't be the part person I was so yeah listening to like to Pivot Butterfly, Damn and even Good Kid Mad City was like yeah I really want to make music like this so you know over the years I started practicing I, started, I knew how to freestyle I, I, I loved music enough to where I could rap but didn't really take it seriously then you know 2019 I started you know kind of concept conceptualizing uh, Black Rose and then now we're here, you know, and you know, a few years later we made it and you know, still making music to this day. Number three, would you rather remain an independent artist and ground your way up or sign to a label slash organization for a boost but less control over your work? Honestly, we're, we're gonna go with the first option because I don't know why you would want to give your entire art up to a whole entire corporation. Like, I like views and I like the numbers, but that's not who I am. Like, I'm more than like the subscribers and the views that I get. As much as like that is, that plays into a contributing factor. Like, who doesn't want to get views and numbers? But I always like to stay true to myself and I always kind of, you know, remain that throughout whether I'm doing photography or art or music 
or videos, I don't really care. I really want to try to like make my, present myself as authentically as I possibly can. So um, I don't really care too much. Like I don't really want to sign my rights over to like a label and then they F me over. Like I'm not really with that for real, for real. But you know, for some artists, you know, they, they care more about the money. But for me, I'm not really about that. I like to just kind of keep my own integrity as an artist that we're just gonna go with that. Number four, opinion on public schools and higher education in general. Is it a waste of time for everyone or only a waste of time for a select few who learn better outside or of a competitive dynamic? Um, my opinion on public schools, um, they're kind of trash. I mean, they do what they can for students, I guess. I mean, the Board of Education sometimes, I mean, I live in New York, so I can only speak from my experience but it wasn't all that great to be honest, but it was enough to where it got me through the school system. I was able to learn my timetables and English and social studies and science and stuff. So I, I guess, but even though you, half of it, you're not even gonna learn in real life, but it's important to know the fundamentals, you feel me? So obviously get get your diploma, get your, get, you know, get your certificate like so that way you know if you want to go to college you can but it's not an option a lot of people kind of promote college but I, I personally think it's just a choice like people don't excel well in higher learning um, that I've kind of realized over the years I've been doing you know at like when I was in college like when I was doing graphic design it was more so like okay this is something that I'm really good at and I really wanted to like try to be really good at this but then I had to switch my major and it wasn't something that I really wanted to do anymore so it kind of was like a waste a little bit, but I feel like, hey, at least I got the degree and that I can use it to do something else. So it's important to have options. Like if you don't want to go to college, at least have options. Like if you want to go to work, cool. If you want to do something else to go to trade school, cool. If you want to pursue something that you want to do, cool. Cause you know, shoot, some people do YouTube and this is a full time job for y'all. But for me, I, I think college was like a good resource and a good backup in case like YouTube or music didn't work. So I'm glad that I have that under my belt. But still, um, I think still, uh, it's, it's, it's cool. I mean, I don't really have a lot of high uh, opinions on it. It's just a matter of like education is important like everybody else. So, and you know, if you don't want to take the time to go to another, like, you know, shoot, pursue that, read books, you know, definitely travel the world, experience stuff, you feel me? Moving on, so Paul, shout out to you, Paul. Paul Barnes, eight, seven, three, two ask which is your your which of your physical music items vinyl CDs etc was the hardest to obtain to be honest it was there was none um I'd say there were vinyls or like there were like CDs or like music stuff that like it took a long time to get like my Frank Ocean endless that took a while to get because I had ordered it around December of 2018 and I didn't get it until like June of 2019 same thing with J. Cole's uh, KOD because like the gatefolds kind of got ruined over like the period of like Jake like from 2018 and I didn't get it until like years later like I'm talking about like four years later so I'm like I almost forgot about it after a while so I didn't really care but I guess that's like if you want to like I guess that's like you know if that counts but I like honestly I just went to like Amazon or I went to Discogs or I just went to like the artists like like website to just get my stuff but to be honest like there was no merch or anything that was like super hard to like obtain. Like it was just a matter of like, boom, I got it. Just waiting for it, I guess. Next question from Kyle1KZ. I, I don't know how to say your name, but y your name's up there. Uh, how did you come up with the Black and Rose? Uh, wait, how did you come up with Black and Rose, the debut album name? Um, more so for Tyler, the creator, like his album is called Scum F Flower, Flower Boy. So like, that's like, when you think about it, it's like an oxymoron. It's like two contrasting titles competing with each other. And then when you listen to the album, it's like you got some aggressive tracks and then you have some soft songs. I wanted to do something like that for my album because I'm more of a, I'm a dark person. So I wanted to like put some like more songs where it's like, oh, it's really dark, but then also like it has like a uplifting, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like Hey Ya from Andre 3000. You know how Hey Ya is like a very uplifting song, but like it's a, it's talking about a lot of messed up things. That's kind of like how Black Rose is. It's like, I wanted to kind of flip upon like something that's like often viewed as beautiful, but then also kind of like take another step to it because I have a very like elegant and soft side to myself. But at the same time, I'm like, I go through a lot of hard stuff that people don't see on the inside. So. Black Rose kind of has like a lot of multiple meanings to it if you really dive deep into the album. Um, but I love flowers and I love roses. Those are like my favorite flowers. So I just kind of stick with that. And then, you know, Black, I don't know, Black Rose, 
I don't know, it just kind of, it was fitting. And then I just kind of made music revolving around that. So, I don't know, it just kind of came to me after a while as I kept making the, the music. So, yeah. Uh, MC Fall of Fall. fall I, bro, what are y'all usernames, bro? But um, are there any Kendrick songs you'd like, what you'd like to make a video with or you're considering making a video with? Um, no, to be honest, I think like the other Kendrick videos, like they didn't do nearly as well as the videos that I made of Not Like Us, because that's the bigger song. But um, I don't think I'm gonna do that just because I got away with it because it's a copyrighted free song because Kendrick took the liberty of actually making those songs like free so that way like you can just enjoy it at your own merit. But to be honest, like I don't really think I'm gonna like make any more like videos like that. Like I like to focus on my own content and not anybody else's. Like that was like something where you know, hey, it was an opportunity. I wanted to capitalize on it. I mean, who wouldn't, to be honest with you? But I don't think I'm gonna make any more Kendrick music videos, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, that's not my thing. I know y'all know me for that now, but my channel was like, on like, doing like, vlogs and music and, you know, talking about various things about my life. So I'm gonna stick to that and just kind of approve upon the content as we go. But yeah, um, I don't really think I'm gonna do more of that, to be honest. Like, it's not my thing, but you know, it's an idea, I guess, so it, it is what it is. But to conclude, I got some more stuff from, I would say, Instagram, because I asked you guys to, put, uh, to ask me stuff on Instagram. So uh, Dave has so asked, uh, best album of 2014 so far, uh, or the best albums of 2014 so far. Um, BK The Ruler, um, J Cinema, Schoolboy Q, Bryson Tiller, Oh, the new Vince Staples album was really good. Uh, Willow's album, the Persona 3 Reload like soundtrack was really good. Um, and even the Beyonce album was really good too. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. That's all I got like for music is, is uh, I'm being honest. Herge, Ketchup, do you have a favorite lock? I don't have one. Like, I just think all my locks look exactly the same, I'm gonna be honest with you, but no, I don't have a favorite lock. Um, I, I don't know, I feel like, talk to me after like my hair gets a little bit longer and I got you but um but this is the last question uh it's Kiera underscore underscore x what advice would you give someone who wants to start a youtube but scared that to take that I'm gonna say that you wanted to say that you're scared to take that step honestly just start like this is how I started with a camera with my iPhone and that's it that's how I started um don't think too hard about it don't be also discouraged if you're not gonna get a lot of views. That's a part of the process. I mean, I didn't get to 1,000 until this year. So I was at 300. So it's a matter of, do you wanna still do it because you like doing it? Or in a matter of like, do you wanna do it because of the numbers? You have to think about your mindset about it as well too. Like, I like making content, period. Like, I like making music. I like making videos because it's fun to me. Um, I do kinda get a little bit like, you know, when I don't hit a certain like view count because I do put a lot of my videos. But I know that they're gonna be seen by somebody. And if they get seen by somebody, that's all that matters to me. Like, if comments, if someone saw my video today and was like, yo, that's a good video, hey, that's cool. I don't really care. Um, but, you know, obviously, as you get more and more and more and more, you don't know, the expectations rise a little bit. But as long as you stay true to yourself, you pick a topic or something that you're really interested in, whether it's music, whether it's movies, TV shows, any pop culture, entertainment, or I don't know what you like to do. But, Figure out what you excel at and then make videos on that and then you will be good, I promise you. So just stick to the process and you will be straight, I promise. Like, things are gonna work out. Um, so don't don't be afraid, just do it. Just do it, don't even think about it, just do it. Just see where the process takes you. Um, and in Rare Big, would you rather pee? Why would you ask me this question? What is, what is wrong with you? I'm gonna I'm talk to you later, bro. But as all the questions I have, y'all, listen, um, thank y'all also for 100,000 views on the like that uh, on the not like us video. I really appreciate it um, More milestones to go. Honestly, I appreciate you guys even subscribing even after the video um, I, I really appreciate the fact that a lot of y'all watching my video has helped you guys better y'all day like or even got you through like some tough times like oh I was going through such and such but watching this video made me feel better that means a lot to me like I didn't think the video was really going to even do much to be honest, but the fact that you guys really seem to enjoy me dancing and it gives you a lot of joy means so much to me. So, um, 
don't expect those type of videos like that again. I don't know if I'm gonna make any more dancing videos, but hey, you know, mess with me. You know, I make music, so if you guys like, you know, hip hop music, underground music, if you like Mike, Mavi, Earl Sweatshirt, uh, I make music, so if you guys want to check me out, uh, my album is on is in the description box below. Uh, also, I have social medias, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, hey, follow me on there too. I'm hella active on my Instagram, so if you guys want to, you know, get to know me even more outside of the YouTube stuff, you know, I'm, I'm down for it. Just don't be weird, please. Like, just don't be weird. Like, I promise you, you will get blocked. Like, I don't tolerate weirdness, but, you know, if y'all want to just chat and get to know the boy, then I'm, I'm down for that, but... Um, I'm going to conclude it here. I appreciate y'all guys for tapping in. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the subscribers. Thanks for the likes and the views. Um, I don't know what, what we're going to do next, but, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. Uh, just don't have a project coming. And uh, that's going to be fun. And I hope uh, some of y'all uh, enjoy that project. But I love y'all. Thanks again. I'm going to holler at y'all later. And, uh, yeah, peace.